Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, in this series of video, we're working on AZ-104, Microsoft Azure Administrator Exam Labs that are available on GitHub. Uh, we have completed in the last two videos um, the first two tasks of this objective, manage Azure resources by using the Azure portal. We have created resource groups and deployed resources, and then we have moved resources from one group to another. In this video, we're going to complete the task three, which is implementing and testing resource locks. So let's get to it. We're going to follow these directions as close as possible. So in this task, we're going to apply a resource lock to Azure resource group containing a disk resource. Uh, in the Azure portal, search for, for and select disk. So we are creating a new disk for this exercise. So let's go to our Azure portal and then home you can just search for disk and here's the disk classic is what i i have never used is the regular disk is what i use and once you're there uh subscription you choose your subscription resource group they're asking us to create a new resource group with this particular name so copy that name uh here so let's do add subscription resource group create new so that's the resource group they want us to use in the lab uh, now let's see this name is this name what we want to use and then region is fine ability zone and source type none is good uh, set the disk type to standard HDD and 32 GIB so this is now set as premium which costs more so we want to just make it uh, standard HDD and 32 gigs that's all we need for the lab so once that's done uh, it's saying review and create and create so you don't need to do anything else you can but for this lab you don't need to do anything else so validation passed so we can create uh, the disk and this deployment is going on deployment to resource group is in progress and uh, it should be done in in uh, less than a minute or so uh, let's see in the Azure portal search and for select resource groups in the list of resource group click the entry representing this particular resource group that we have created and uh, in this resource group what we'll do we're gonna add some locks once that uh, once that uh, resource is created so now this resource is created so we can go to the resource so this disk is available and uh, where is my resource this is my resource group so if I go to the resource group we should have only one disk so in this section what they're saying click on locks okay so here is the resource group level I can have other resources and here is the lock icon or lock blade what Microsoft calls you can go and add the lock here uh, note that you can also add a lock at a resource level as well you can go to the particular disk and add the lock but in this case as per our lock uh, lab we're going to add the lock at the resource group level so the lock is applied to anything any resources that are inside this particular resource group so let's click on lock and then to add a lock you just click on add and there are two different kind of lock either read only or delete so we're gonna use the delete lock as per the lock and the lock name is this and that's gonna be a delete lock that means you can do more stuff but you just cannot delete anything from that particular resource notes you don't have to do anything hit ok now go to the overview and select entry representing the disk and try to, so now let's see if we can if the lock is in place or not so they're saying go to the overview blade select our disk and then do the delete operation and it's asking hey confirm that that you want to delete so say yes and say delete and here we go so data command and all of that it's you can't do that it's failed because we have that lock so they're saying please remove the lock and try again okay if you want to really delete the lock you gotta delete remove the lock from the resource group level and then you will be able to delete that 
um, you should see an error message we have seen that so now it's saying navigate back to the resource group and uh, click the entry representing that resource on that blade setting click configuration and disk type uh, and change it to premium SSD to 64 gigs so this is important so you cannot delete but you can do stuff so so now you have a new requirement that you want to change the disk size you have you, you want to upgrade that to premium SSD and uh, double the disk size see let's see if we, if we can do that or not so we are here and then you go to the configuration blade and you change the SSD to premium SSD and you want 64 gigs for this uh, disk so remember we still have a lock the lock is a delete lock okay and now if I save is it gonna let me do it what do you think yeah, it did because it's a delete lock so you can still write and do stuff with your resources upgrade downgrade but you cannot delete it so we have done that and it's saying this is expected since the resource group level lock applies to delete operations only okay but if you had a read only lock okay so let's uh, the, the lab does not talk about the read only but let's let's do something and make sure that we understand that feature as well so let's go back to uh, our resource group level are we at the resource yeah we are at the resource group so let's go to the locks and what we're gonna do we're gonna edit this lock and we're gonna change this lock type to read only okay this is additional to what you needed to do in the lab but I'm doing this because this is important uh, this is the read only lock and I'm just gonna say okay so now this lock type has changed to read only now say your your requirement has now gone down and you want to revert back your disk storage to a, a HDD again can you do that so let's check it out go to the overview go to this disk and go to the configuration it's now set at premium and 64 let's just change it to HDD, HDD and then try to save and see it's giving you an error at this time so remember read only locks is more restrictive okay you cannot do anything you can only just read with delete lock you can do stuff but you just cannot do any resources all right that's all that I wanted to cover in this lab uh, let's just go back just to recap everything clean up the resources um, delete lock so let's delete the lock so that's way you, you you know if somebody asks you in a lab how do you delete the lock uh, you know how to do it so in the resource group go to locks uh, deleting the locks is very easy so here you have a delete button available just click on it the lock is gone and uh, that's about it if you want you can also delete uh, the disks and the resource group that you have created uh, if you don't use it uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this uh, lab so we have finished all three exercises under manage Azure resources by using the Azure portal in our last three videos. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share with friends. Good luck with the Azure administrator exam. Thank you.